<clears throat> hey, how you doing there? Welcome to my channel, Veracity Trigger. And I wanted to do a little bit of a, I guess, like a blog or podcast. Well, I guess podcast would be with more people. So, but maybe podcast is singular. I don't, I don't know. I didn't really look that up. But I want to do like a um, little vlog or something. I wanted to talk about swearing, and I wanted to kind of have a conversation with you and see if you wanted to have one with me, possibly. So, uh, yeah, this it's kind of been something that. I don't really want to do anymore. You know, I don't like it's. I do it occasionally. I don't swear all the time. Uh, there was a point in my life where I did swear a lot, and I did swear a whole lot for a couple of years. And it was kind of based on the job I was working at. I mean, everybody there would swear, and it, you know, just act vulgar and swear and just say anything they wanted to, and it didn't matter. And so I kind of started to fit in with that crowd. And I started to fit in with that group, and it was kind of like almost a work setting. Like I had to, in a way, for the work setting to befriend people, even though I didn't really want to be their friends. And it wasn't really a friendship; it was just kind of like a work relationship kind of type deal. And I, I kind of, sort of felt really drawn into it. And just years later, it just kind of sticks with you. And there's times where, you know, I'll get upset. There's some kind of traffic or something bad in a game I don't like and I'll just swear my head off sometimes and I really shouldn't. <laughs> I really need to like pull out of doing that. And um, and there's times it can get bad. And so lately I've really been able to sort of halt that to a degree where I've been really good with that. I've been really good with pulling it away and it feels kind of good. It feels kind of good. It feels like, uh, you know, I'm able to mentally become a little stronger, so to speak, because I'm not just relying on one word. You know, I'm able to articulate a little better. And I think, you know, it sort of makes me a little bit happier, too. You know, because swearing, sometimes in some situations, uh, some swears and some swearing can be kind of funny, but it's sort of really, really situational for that, at least for me, you know, I'll think some things are kind of funny. Like sometimes when some people are doing comedy acts or something that's like brute honesty, just the absolute truth of things, you know, I'll laugh at what they're saying because sometimes it just seems kind of funny. Um, I laughed at the movie Deadpool a lot I mean, I thought a lot of his just sheer honesty was funny, um, but there is a lot of swearing in it. And I, it doesn't seem like, for swearing per se, it's, it's almost like when people are swearing at other people to, to really put them down and hurt them in a very bad mental way, that I really don't condone at all. That's not something that I would approve of. Something where it just, it's sort of like, just appears, you know, out of nowhere. It was like unintentional, but it's not, it's not a harmful thing. That I can sometimes see funny, but even then, I'm trying to pull myself away from, and it's not easy. It's not easy. And you know, there's people on the fence about this. There's people that will be completely one-sided, where they'll be like, ah, you know, I could say all kinds of stuff right now, <laughs> but you know, they're gonna be like, I can say anything I want to and do whatever I want to and and this and that. Um, I don't think it's making you happy, though. I don't think it is. And you might try to say it is, but I doubt it. I highly doubt it. And there's people who will be on the other side of the fence that will pretty much stay away from people on that side of the fence because they don't want to associate with that. You know, they don't want to be caught up in it. And I think for me, most of my life I've been kind of in the middle with other people um, that have also kind of been in the middle of that because I've had family that was completely on one side as far as one thing goes and completely on another side as far as another thing goes and so I'm kind of like deciding you know it's like it's like my choice I'm in the middle what do I do you know where do I pick where do I go and so you know lately I've been trying to pull away from it and, and as I don't engage in that type of activity I feel happier you know I, I just it's like a mental clarity you know I don't have that kind of weight 
on my shoulder and it's not it's weird but it's not like a weight but it's kind of like you feel you are not able to mentally evolve to a higher way of, of conversation and when you do that so much it to me it feels like you keep yourself down in this pit that you can't really come out of because you're down in this pit with everybody else down in this pit and so, yeah, I think it's just a bad thing. I mean, it is a bad thing to hear, but I think it's a bad thing for you, mentally, personally, who you are. So, yeah, that was just kind of a little quick topic I wanted to talk about. And I have some other ideas for some other things, too. Uh, but if you want to suggest something, you're free to. And as this is, this is kind of like a discussion kind of thing. And so if you want to go ahead and put your comments down below and say something, go right ahead. Um, you know, this is just going to be what this is for this. It's going to be like a little personal thing with me and you and, and ideas and all kinds of stuff. So <laughs> uh, not much else to say, um, but uh, if you like the video, um, you want to comment, do all that kind of stuff. And um uh, Talk to you later. Take care.